Hey everybody, this is Tearing Up The Game coming at you with another video. Okay, so I told you guys I was going to put this slide back together. That's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so I got the new firing pin and the new firing pin spring, which just goes on there like that. Boom, boom. And <clears throat> here's the slide. So right now my slide is completely disassembled. And this is like a big reason why I bought the Beretta is it's got a, uh, it's real easy to take this thing not only the slide but the frame completely apart uh, for uh, maintenance and stuff like that. I hate guns that um, you can't get to the firing pin channel, you know, and clean that out easily. You know, where they say, oh, you got to avoid putting oil down in there or getting this because it'll get gunk all in there. Well, if you can't go in there and clean that gunk out, you're wasting your time. So that annoys me. So that's why I bought this gun. So anyway, I'm going to slide this firing pin along with the firing pin spring into the firing pin channel for the gun right now. So it's got that spring tension. It's going to spring out of there if I don't watch myself. What's going to capture that, um, see this groove in the firing pin right here. I got to make sure that's turned towards the uh, uh, the ejector uh, area because uh, this pin here is what's going to hold that in there hold it from springing out so I'm gonna pop that in there and bear with me it's been a while since I did this so probably not gonna be uh, the best at it so let's see if I can make this work got my Glock tool it usually helps me with whatever I'm doing help me hold that down Oop, see look at that let me make sure it's still positioned right sorry if I get out of focus y'all Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take this pin and pop it into here once I got this position. And you can see it, oh, make sure this don't spring and smack the camera. When I got this pushed down, you can see in here the firing pin coming through so you can see where you're at. When I got it pushed like that. I got that. And look, I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, I found the spring. My bad. I, I shot across the room. Okay, so let's try this again. It's kind of hard trying to show you and do it at the same time. So. Let me try this one more time. You guys aren't going to really get to see what I'm doing, per se, but I'm popping this part of the pin in there. You know what? I might be wrong. Oh, yeah. I think I got to put the ejector in there before I put that in there. Let's see. Alright, you guys gonna watch me fail at this probably a couple times and then I'm gonna get it right. And it will be all happy. Let's see here. I can tell there's gonna be a lot of editing in this video. What they call that uh, movie magic. Let's see here. Here we go. Okay, so basically I have the ejector on it. Ooh, got it. Okay, good. So basically I have the uh, ejector in there and it's gonna it's holding that firing pin right now. 
so it can do its job like normal. And to hold all of that together so I don't have to press my thumb on this uh, ejector, um, I'm gonna place that pin up top. So, yeah, it's in there. So uh, let me go over that one more time in case you guys can get it since it's hard to show. Um, I had to put the this long ejector, uh, it's not the ejector rod, this is like the, oh man, what's it called? Uh, it's the, you know, it takes, the, it grabs the shell, pops it out, eject, uh, it's not an ejector rod, I don't think, um, but the ejector, it's just real long on this. But anyway, so I'm, I put that in first, and then I took the, the uh, firing pin and firing pin spring, pushed it down until it clicked, and now it's captured. And I have to keep holding this or else it'll shoot out. But see, if I take my Glock tool and I lightly press on it, it, it's acting as if you know the hammer hits it. That's how I know it's working properly. Um, so now I'm gonna take this pin here and place it in top, and hopefully get it to go in there proper right. Could be wrong on this one too. Um, and then it shot out on me. Okay, let me try this one more time. Oh yeah, I gotta. I'm gonna have to roll two more arms or two more hands and push this while I push this down. I forgot about that. Yeah. Let's see if I can manage that. Okay, <laughs> okay, so it took a little playing around to try to get my memory back. So I'm gonna do what I did before. Make sure I had this on here. And I'm gonna pop this guy in there again. Patience to mess around with these guns, I'm telling you. Okay, oh, wrong way. Okay, so popping this back in there. It's not that bad. I mean, it's, this, is, this is only because I haven't, I haven't been doing this. You know, it's not like I'm. I've been practicing or anything. I haven't been messing around with this, which is why I'm sucking right now and putting this together. So what I'm doing different now is I'm gonna. Pa I have to press into this ejector right here to get it to go through. There we go. I forgot about that part, but that's how it happens when you take it apart. Now I just gotta pop it in. All right. Woo. That's so hard. There we go. Play around with it, make sure it's working there. I'll press the hammer back. Looks good. So yeah, I popped that pin in by holding this part down, press like pushing this ejector right, right in here. You can kind of feel it. And if I want to take this apart, see that button right there? I push that as I push in here. So all of this is kind of tricky, you know. So I push this in here, and then that'll pop this pin out, and that'll let the firing pin and firing pin spring shoot out, and then this pulls out, and you know, it all breaks down like you just saw me uh, do. Um, if you guys want me to take it apart, uh, I'm not gonna take it apart now. I got it in place, I'm gonna put this all together and test it out real quick. But if you wanna see a video of me taking my time when I know how to do it a lot more smoother. <laughs> I'll do that for you. Just uh, put it in the comments and we'll go over it. So we're gonna put this bad boy together. I've been waiting, long awaited. Uh, 
thing right here. So I got the dual spring, you know, you just put that spring inside that one, then you take the uh, recoil spring guide rod, uh, got the, the barrel here, pop that barrel in. I'm sure you guys watched assembly videos of this, you know, the basic assemblies of this firearm. Take the frame, slide it on the rails, and pray. Thing works. I'm just pointing this right at my brother's junk right now, so let me turn it <laughs> this way. I'm recording. I'm gonna pull this trigger. And it looks like it's working. Alright, that's it. Now uh, the biggest test is gonna be actually taking this to the range. Uh, I think that's probably gonna be my one of my next videos, or I'm gonna link it in with uh with another video of me shooting this thing. And uh you guys will get to see just how well my uh, gunsmithing is. <laughs> so if you guys haven't seen the, the magazines, it's a flush fit magazine for it. Stuff, I mean, come on, man. Stuff is springing out off me like, all, all day today. Okay, so this is the finger uh, pinky extension. I really like that. It fits my hand real well. You know, and I don't have small hands, y'all. I got I got big hands. It's just uh, <laughs> they're a little skinny, you know, my fingers. So, you know, shut your mouth. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so it fits good. Almost feels like a... You know, a good size handgun. I get all my pinky on it, but I don't need that. Of course, I don't use that. I use the 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 front the the flush magazine. Now the thing about these Berettas is, you see, how it has that little lip right there. So when you're gripping it, and it doesn't have this one, this kind of can bite your finger a bit. Not bite it, but uh, just it's kind of like a sharp edge. So when you're squeezing it, it doesn't like bite, like pinch you, but it, it's just a little sharp edge that's going on when you're grabbing it. See how that's, my finger's kind of touching the edge of that magazine. It's not a deal breaker for me, but it's just something to, to note. But when you got the pinky extension, you don't feel any of that, and it doesn't pinch. You know how some magazines you get where, you know, it's got that gap, and it can pinch you. It's not the case with this, with this Beretta. So yeah, this is my Beretta Pico, and if this functions properly with this new firing pin, I might try to do some research, maybe call Beretta and ask them, you know, what, what, what kind of metal they use and what, you know, what's going on, um, if they have any problems with that or anything, see if they truthful with me or would even open up like that. But uh, I'm going to call them, I'm going to test this gun out, and maybe it'll be my pocket carry again. But until then, I'm going to keep carrying that Glock 19, even though it's a little hefty sometimes. I'm going to keep rocking that. So, yeah, that's the end of my video. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'm out. So I got the Beretta here. We're going to test it out. Didn't eject it. Huh? Yes. I'm like crazy. You come fuck out. Right. Ejector didn't Four work. Four hours. Yeah. Might have put this back. Put this together the wrong way. But let's try one more time. Kind of felt oh, something hit my face. There we go. Okay, it worked now. Maybe it just had a little hiccup. Okay. Okay, function. I may have that one hiccup. Okay, I got the uh, Winchester 3 at the auto.
just ran it through this gun here. Uh, it worked fine. It had one hiccup in the beginning. It, looked, uh, it wasn't extracting the round, but after I shot it, it worked. So we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna top it off, you know, to see how it works the way the way I carry it. So we got that in there. Five, here we go. It's working pretty good. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. I'm a little scared because when I first shot it the first time, some stuff came to my face. So it kind of, uh, Took me back a little bit, uh, but right now it's been working fine. So I'm gonna put uh, the rest of these rounds through it. I like shooting it, man. It's nice. I really like shooting. I might keep it, man, if it keep. But then again, I, you know, I've, I've shot this for a couple months before it broke down on me. So we'll find out for real it's, it's in cool. time it's, it is. It's how good this is. I'm gonna try one handed now. So here's the here. Where's the strap? I like it. 